russet potatoes boiling in preparation for the gnocchi. So these are russets. They're like a medium size. You want to scrub them and put them in water and you boil them for about an hour until the skin starts to loosen and this way they'll peel really easy later. Just draining the potatoes now. You can see they've been cooking. They're nice and tender. I'm just going to start peeling them and cooling them. And then you can use this potato rice and it'll go into this bowl. Vincenzo is peeling the potatoes after they've cooked. And he's got the ricer here. He's got some beautiful potatoes already in there. So he started with three pounds of potatoes, and these are russets. They're nice and dry. They have a lot of starch, so that's kind of that preferred potato. You start with three pounds, and you want to eventually get to two pounds, and he's actually measuring it here on the scale. So the recipe calls for two pounds of potatoes at the end. You might have some leftover, but that's okay too. So, Vincenzo is starting to make the gnocchi. He's got his potatoes that were riced earlier. They're nice and cool. He's adding the flour. And this is just an all-purpose flour. We actually really love the flour from Trader Joe's, if you have a Trader Joe's in your community. Some sea salt. And then an egg yolk, right? Mm -hmm. One. So you can kind of see. We're just using a big bowl here. You can use a metal bowl or a plastic bowl. doesn't really matter. So do that. Just the egg yolk goes in. And then he's got some gloves on and he's going to start incorporating this. It's really sticky dough, so that's why he likes to use the gloves. You can see he's kneading it just a little bit and using his fingers to bring it together. So gnocchi is something that he used to make with his grandma in Abruzzo. The first thing he ever made with her. So it's kind of a, a family recipe, this one. And we love making it here in Minnesota. It's one of our most popular cooking classes. Yeah. <laughs> I think people like gnocchi. So we hope, you will, you know, we'll, we hope you love it too. I know you will. <laughs> It's really versatile. It's basically a potato dumpling um, that you boil and you can either saute it and brown it or just put it right into a sauce and it's just delicious. We're going to give you some ideas on what kind of sauces you can use. So it's been just a couple minutes he kneaded this and it, he has this nice beautiful little ball here of potato and flour and egg. It came together really nicely. He's going to just Put it out on a floured surface here and start working with it to make this little gnocchi. Working very fast. Yeah, so this dough gets soft really easy from your hands, from the warmth of your hands. Stop me. Yeah, so it's just a little bit bringing it together. You can see it's not like bread dough really. It's, it's really, really tender to the touch and soft. Yep. It's important to use a lot of flour so they don't stick together. So I think more flour better, right? More flour is better. Yeah. Important to work not, not too much. Don't work it too much. Yeah, because okay. too hot, no, yeah. no good. The warmth of your fingers. Mm -hmm. That's why it's good to cool the potatoes before you start making the dough as well. So he's separated to separate pieces and he's starting to roll it. Start in the middle and then you push the dough out with your palms. This is kind of tricky. He makes it look really easy, but basically you make it into a long. And this, you decide you the size. Yeah, so these can be as big or as little as you like. He's making a really classic gnocchi. It's, um, 
basically looks like a little pillow. Some people like to do this with the fork and put ridges in it, but this is really a classic pillow shaped um, gnocchi. I'm going to do a close up on his fingers for this one. You can see how he moves the dough from the inside to the outside of the roll and makes it pretty much the same diameter. You can see how big they are there. And then he uses a cheese knife. This is a plastic cheese knife. See how he adds flour. He's being efficient and cutting two at a time. I love this. Mm. Look at those beautiful gnocchi. And he's gonna fluff them a little bit. He's just got a spatula with some flour. And it just kind of separates them and then coats them with flour at the same time. Flour and a parchment, and then the gnocchi can go right on your sheet pan. Oh, they look beautiful. Now, if you had, were doing this and eating them right away, you can just have your sheet pans with flour and create your gnocchi, and they can go right into your boiling water from here. If you're not going to eat them right away, these pans can go in the freezer, mm -hmm. and you just flash freeze them. Exactly. Make sure they're separated. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is the secret. Okay. And uh, of course, I use this because no, no, it's no wooden. Yes. So we see have what? a countertop that exactly. we don't. See wooden, it, yeah. Uh, use this. You can use a pastry. Mm -hmm cutter if you have a wooden surface. We have uh, quartz, so we don't want to damage it, so he's using <laughs> the plastic knife that actually works really well. I'll do a close-up on that knife. It's a cheese knife that you can find just about anywhere. And there's the gnocchi. Beautiful. We're going to probably make these later, so they're going to go in the, the freezer for us. <laughs> we might have some gnocchi later, though, I bet. Hmm? Yep. So you can see he's working really fast. That's something he'll say. Yes, this is secret. Work yeah. fast. Yeah. Because gnocchi need fast because too soft. Mm -hmm. You work too much, it's too soft. It's and crazy for cut. Yeah. And it's kind of a delicate touch. He, he's making it look pretty easy here, but you don't want to push too hard either because that'll flatten it out. Great. That looks gorgeous. Now you can see the gnocchi are in the salted water. So the water is salty like you would for um, pasta. You want it to have enough salt so that it actually salts the gnocchi. And this was boiling and then we added the salt. And then as they cook, you can see the gnocchi are going to pop to the top. We just have two portions in there. so. Um, you don't want to crowd them too much, and we'll wait for them to start popping up. How many minutes usually for cooking gnocchi? Four or five minutes? Depends. Yeah, mm usually. -hmm. Depends. Ooh, they're starting to pop up. Here's those beautiful gnocchi. They're popping up to the top as they're finishing cooking. Mm -hmm. The frozen is going to take just a little bit longer than yeah. fresh. Mm, yeah. Which one is fresh is for five minutes. One is frozen, maybe seven, eight minutes. Oh, they're beautiful. You can see he's just taking them right from the boiling water with a, a spoon, a slotted spoon, and it's just going right into the sauce. So you don't have to drain it at all. You actually want some of that the water to go into the sauce too. It's going to add a little starch and a little salt. So this is a portion of two for Vincenzo and I. We're having this for lunch. We're having, we're enjoying it right along with you. It's beautiful. Mm, so here we are. 
our finished gnocchi. Bon appetito, everyone. Bon appetito. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Finished? It's still going. Oh, so there we have our finished gnocchi with some parmigiano and a little drizzle of olive oil. Oh, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to dig in.